While wallowing in the bits, Novigrad's worst and most notorious slum, The Witcher took a contract on a monster committing horrendous murders under the cover of darkness. At the time, he never suspected that a story starting in the gutter would end in a luxurious manner. Oh yeah, huh. Somehow we're gonna eventually end in a luxurious manner. Near the Novigrad docks, Geralt ran into his old brother at arms, Lambert. Geralt's surprise grew when he realized the Ekimara they both were hunting was not the chief reason for Lambert's presence in the city. But before they could sit down for a heartfelt chat, the two witchers had to deal with their dishonest contractor. How many times will men try to cheat witchers out of honest pay for honest work before they learn? That taken care of, Geralt could now talk to Lambert. It turned out he was hunting the people responsible for the death of his friend, Aiden, a witcher from the cat school. Lambert had learned Aiden had been murdered by a gang of hired thugs, led by a man named Jad Carradin. Geralt decided to help Lambert, and the two set off on a path to revenge. Hmm. Yad, Jad, Carradin? Yeah, and then the Vienne. Vienne was the elf lady. Alright, well, uh, we'll look for Hammond. We don't know where he is exactly, do we? Trot time. Trot time. Uh, can we art that or? <laughs> no. Ooh. Um. I think I've made a very big mistake just now. You see the mini map? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I wonder if I can walk away and avoid that. Oh, why did I try doing that? Art in people's villages? That was obviously not a good thing to do. <laughs> Oh, they're still angry. Crap, why did I do that? I Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, maybe I'll I'll have a look at somewhere else around here first then. Let's uh let's go to this. Yeah, find the the cat gear. God damn it. Kind of got to walk around them though. <laughs> Could I just stay on this path and not walk into the village? Oh god, they're so angry. The entire village got pissed at me. Arting. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Farewell. Farewell, everybody. That was so dumb. Oh my gosh. I hope that doesn't affect anything. Please don't hold grudges. It's not good for your health. Forget about it soon, okay? Monster Den. A lot of harpies. Harpies? We haven't seen harpies before, have we? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, God, there's so many. And I don't really care about all of you. Beautiful. Ow! Ooh! That was a lot going on. Yeah, harpies! I don't think we fought one here before. There's still a few over there, but we can probably just ignore them. If that's okay. Yeah, you can't follow me in the cave, right? It's too narrow. Shoo, go away. Oh, it's all dark again. <gasps> Whoa, what is this place? It's outside the cave, right? Might be like a Andrega or something. What? What? It's all here? That okay? But that's like the entire set. Am I missing something? Why is it so easy? There is some kind of puzzle here. Am I here a little bit too early? 
I don't know. Uh, can I turn this or something? This is locked. Oh. Well, now there's sparkles on it. And it's not red anymore. What? You know what? We probably just don't know how to solve this puzzle yet. Hmm. There's a few more here. This one has a dog. Or a, a cat. Cat school. Cat. I'm just doing this randomly though. Oh, do you want to create like an animation or something? Like this person's walking over there to the cave? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. The noises are scary. Yeah, hey, maybe that's actually what we want to do. Uh, this one... There's two doors. How do we... We don't have any inkling of how to solve this. Where's the hint? Honestly though, do we need to know how to solve this? Because we came here for the diagrams and they were all outside. Every single one of them in the same freaking treasure chest. What's going on? I don't get how some of them are sometimes yellow, some of them some of them are not and Should I be paying attention to what you're holding? Oh, yeah, that's the the guy died right next to it. Uh, I'm assuming this door will just open if we get it. Do you want to like face the wall? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just sort of assuming that if I want to come in here, I gotta get all the statues facing this way. Which is not the case. <laughs> what? It's red again. Do I just make it all yellow? Wait, you're going back the wrong way, aren't you? Don't you go clockwise? Why are you going counterclockwise? Uh, when it has sparkles... That's when it's yellow, right? So maybe I just want all of them to have sparkles? So that one has sparkles, but this one doesn't. How are you supposed to know this, though? Because this seems like a, a game thing. More than a, hey, what is this puzzle? Let's try to solve it. Okay, they're sparkling. They're looking at each other. Oh, this one's- oh! Yeah, like, how do you- How are you supposed to figure that out? I mean, I did, but... I don't know what the reasoning behind that really is. Uh, this goes out here. Oh, this side is open too. Sneaky. The door didn't even make any noise. I think the stuff inside the cave here is probably going to be crappier <laughs> than what we got um, the diagrams. Daystar. Carabella. Not very good. Not good enough for us, unfortunately. What? That's it? Okay? Oh, that's... This is very strange. That's it? Okay. Well, I mean, I came here for the... The diagrams. I got it. We can go. A little bit of an oddity overall, though. And let's hope we don't get harassed by sirens and harpies when we go out here. Going back to the village should be okay now, right? Hopefully they're done with being mad at me. Yup. Just gotta wrap back around this way. No, no. Not today, guys. Sorry. Don't scream in my face. This is too mountainous for us to be riding roach. Oh, they're dead already. What is it? Who's dead? I don't know who's dead. 
Yeah, it is in Dragas. Hey, everybody. I am a complete new visitor. You've never seen me before. Oh, wait. Are you all just pirates or something? Oh. I thought I pissed off all the guards in the place, but these are just pirates. So earlier, I could have just walked in here. <laughs> a little bit dumb, but that's okay. Oh, let's test out how many strikes we can get with them. Oh, didn't even quite get to see at that time. Dagger! That guy had a name. Oh, that's not a name. That's a... Whoa! Oh my god, that guy headshot at the other guy. Hey, you. Holy crap, they're really good shots. No! Where is Hammond? I'm looking for Hammond. Okay. Now that we're like this, we can probably practice... You wanna come over here? Come outside? I wanna practice my shield on you. Sweet rare. Like, how many times can you hit me? Ah! Hello? What <laughs> that guy? Let me practice on you. Oh, there's a lot of guys here too. Okay. Hold up. What? What did he kill himself? What Let's happened to him? Dance. So when the shield breaks, we don't get health back. We lose health. So we gotta let go of the shield. Holy crap. Before. Before. It breaks. One more. Oh! Oh, I thought that you get two hits in with a shield for sure, but I think it depends on how much they hit you and how much stamina you have. It's not always two hits. Orders from Hammond. Next time, I gotta make sure to visit the shrine on the hill and make an offering before setting out. The gods favor, that's what matters most. So if any customers come, Tell them to wait till I get back. They'll understand. They know I'm liable to get ornery when someone interrupts my prayers. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh. Shrine on the hill? The same one that we just paid off the pirates for? That one? No, it's a different one. Okay. Alright. Yeah, yeah. It's a fast travel sign here because this town is called Trotheim. This village was once famed across all of Skellige for the fact that it was inhabited exclusively by women, all their men having died during one raid or another. Oh. It seems like even that's not a thing anymore. There's no normal villagers here, as far as we can see. Is the map a little bit glitched? It still says there's people alive, because there is. One. Yeah, it depends on how much stamina I have. These guys hit pretty hard. Everybody, how many copies of his orders did Hammond make? No, the map is a little bit glitched up. You can see there's still alive people here, when there obviously isn't. It's a lot of people. Your mom shut you out. Neither oh. will take you back. Halt! Are you the last one? Yeah, the map is pretty glitched up here. 
Oh. Got a very nice stone home here. I like it. I like it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, did you see that? If we go inside the house, look at the freaking mini-map. What? What is going on with the icons today? I think that's a sign we should get out of here soon because things are scary. Glowing ore. What was that? A glowing ore? Incense? Oh. It seemed like a relic, so I wanted to look at it a little bit more, but I don't know where it is now. That's fine. That's... fine. Yeah, okay. Well, if we want to go to where Hammond is praying, we're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Take that off, and head in the complete opposite direction. We murdered an entire town. No need to feel bad about it, I guess. It's all just pirates. Does that mean that pirate- uh, Does that mean that Hammond is normally a Skelliger, or is he just a random guy who's come to Skelliga, like me? I don't quite remember the relation between all the people in the gang. Hammond, VN, and that Yan guy. A boat? Treasures? No treasures? Okay, no treasures. No killing. This way then. It's permanently snowing here. Oh, it's quite... How do we... How do we get past this? Quite uphill. I've been noticing that lately, Geralt doesn't seem to remember to sheath his sword. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my mod's messed up somewhere, even though I haven't touched anything. Oh, here we go. Back up here. Who's here? Whoa! Oh, that's Andrega's. Okay. Excuse me! Coming through. You guys want to come with me and fight Hammond? <laughs> Whoa. They're walking all around like it's nothing. In fact, I think if we follow this... Oh, there it is. Hammond's praying location. Ow. Ooh, poison. See this guy? He's doing like nothing on me. Nothing on my stamina. So the shield can take a lot of hits. Shit. Ow. Why did those guys hit me so hard? It felt like those pirate guys hit me really, really hard for some reason. of the sea. I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offering of me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Ah, we're looking for all these guys so we can find the main guy. Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spin it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! I need your information. <laughs> okay, I don't think there was a other way out of this one, right? He got mad instantly. There was no other way around that one. Ah! 
unlike the other one with Vienne, who might have still been alive if um <laughs> if it wasn't for the choices I made. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Hammond wasn't wearing any armor. <laughs> A little bit silly, but he wasn't expecting a guest to be here. Whoa! A Necker card, thank you. Letter written on elegant stationery. Hammond, thought I made it clear during our last face-to-face -face talk. I don't want to keep in touch with you, and I especially don't want any business with you. I've no doubt the enterprise you propose would be profitable. Nevertheless, to speak colloquially, count me out. There are plenty of other potential buyers in Novigrad, Goldsmiths, jewelers, and merchants dealing in luxury goods, for starters. I don't want to get involved. Whatever you decide, I wish you well in it. Treat this letter as our final farewell. Keratin. Oh, when we find him, is it gonna be like, Oh, this guy's actually turned over a new leaf. Let's give him a new chance. Something like that. Mm. We'll meet Lambert once we go back to Novigrad then. Oh, wow. These are like boat parts, right? It's almost like a gigantic animal's ribs or something. And the, the shields. I'm not sure which clan is which. But we see even Novigrad shields here. Yeah, on this little altar. Huh. Well, I'll keep it lit for you, Hammond. Rounds. And that's that. Our business here is concluded. Now what? Now we can go look for that guy's wife. Yeah, examine the coasts of Pharaoh on the side facing Hindrisfjall. Sure. It's a busy day for a witcher. We never get any rest. We're always like, hurry up, chop chop. Let's go from one to the next. <laughs> okay, so what we don't want to find here is probably the carcass of the boat, right? Because if we find it, there's a pretty big chance that means the people died. But if we don't find anything, then we don't know what happened to these people at all. Sirens? Oh no, Jesus. Oh, your singing actually hurts me. <laughs> Not that. Oh no. I don't think we're gonna find what we want to find. Yeah. Blue and bloated. Didn't seem to bother the sirens, though. Must have nabbed her body soon after she drowned. Kira's lamp ought to prove really handy here. Oh. Oh. Oh, because the lamp lets us see dead people things? <laughs> okay. How do we get the lamp out again? We have to equip it first. So random. We didn't use it for like the past 50 hours and now they suddenly want me to take it out again. <laughs> Uh, here, right? I gotta put it... here? Merciful friend, forgive your sons. Meant to escort our brother's betrothed to her wedding, a storm beset us and bested us. All is lost. Agda lies dead. Her dowry drowned. Tis a taint on the clan's honor. Forgive us, O oh Freya most noble. Stop, Mikael. Freya can't wash our shame away. Only blood can. Let's do it as it must be done. There, neath the tree. We'll pray, and then end it. Aye, you're right. Be better that way. These Skellige people really value honor. Beneath the tree. Footprints. Wonder where they lead. I feel like this was not exactly the most honorable thing to do, though, because 
It's almost it almost feels like you're cowering away from what you did by killing yourself and not telling your brother what happened in the end. Because now your brother is left on the in the village wondering, hey, where's my wife, my future wife, and my two brothers? He'll just never know what happens. If he didn't hire a witcher who happened to have a magic lamp that could review the past, he would never have known what happened. Wouldn't taking responsibility be a more honorable thing? Not even commenting on the killing yourself part, but maybe you want to tell your brother what happened first? Oh... Crime scene. Agda's father to Timon. Timon of Clan Dimon. Timon is the guy of the village. I am delighted my Agda will wed as viral a warrior as yourself. Pride fills my heart to think your marriage will unite our two families. I trust you will forgive my absence, but with my many years and many more injuries, travel is no longer possible. I thank you for sending your brothers to escort Agda. My own lads are all drinking mead with our ancestors. So if not for Ulf and Mikkel, Agda would have no worthy company on her journey to her wedding ceremony. To start you on your path together properly, I will entrust Agda's dowry to your brothers on behalf of myself and all our clan. I also convey to you both my sincerest blessings. Respect each other and live in harmony. May you thrive and prosper. Jorgen of Clan Heime. Hmm. This guy stabbed himself. Did you do the same? We can't see. Skelligan Honor chose to die instead of living with the knowledge they'd let down their brother. I guess we just value different things, but that seems cowardly to me. It's almost like running away from your responsibilities. But from their point of view, killing yourself is taking responsibility for it. Freya's symbol, scrawled in blood. Brothers entrusted themselves to the goddess before they died. Hmm. We got a chest key from that. Not that I really, really want the chest or anything. But I wonder if we can find it. Does that mean that we can get the dowry? Because we can bring the dowry back to Timon, if that's the case. But there's no direction. Yeah, we did get a key, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, it just doesn't really... tell me. Maybe all I gotta do is give it to Timon. I feel like whenever we go on a quest like this, it's almost like this is the expected outcome. Cause if they were okay, then why would they have gone missing? Um... If I just give him the key, will he even have time to find the dowry or whatever's in that chest? Cause he would be too busy mourning, right? Mm. It's just weird because it doesn't tell me to do anything with the key here. But maybe... Maybe let's try going back to that area where we saw the woman's corpse. Because if it is the dowry or whatever chest they came with, then it should be on the ship when it crashed, right? So maybe it's on the shore here somewhere? I don't think I looked that thoroughly when I was down here. Yeah. Oh, could we use a lamp on the tree place? Mm, if we try to use it again, I don't think we can, right? Because the, the icon's gone. Yeah. No, it'll show. It'll glow green. There's nothing around here, though. Not even the boat that they came on. Bye. Really? Can I not do anything about this? Oh! Well, there's a chest there, but I don't know if it's... Oh, there's a boat. There's a boat. They came on such a big boat? Ah, oh, one piece of it is sticking out for you to find here. That seems to correspond pretty well with the location of the lady. Hold on. It's sparkling too. It 
It says unlocked? Does that mean that we unlocked it with the chest key that we got? Uh, I mean, a golden necklace seems exactly like what would be part of dowry, but it, again, it's not telling me anything. No quest objective complete or anything, really. Let me get back on the shore first. Um. No, the, the gold necklace would be in the normal section, wouldn't it? Actually, where would that be? Here? Gold necklace? Yeah, I don't even know where it went now. Oh, quest item. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe we just bring it back to Timon then. Might as well read the last brochure now. Though Spikarog is not the most frequently visited of the Skellige Isles, one cannot deny it has a certain inescapable charm. Particularly bewitching are those snow-capped peaks towering over its southern and western shores. Oh, that might be what we've seen in the distance, in the, um, the northeast? Spikarog will surely please lovers of the martial arts. The northern portion of the isle is home to a famed arena, where local warriors test their strength in no-holds-barred bouts. South of the arena lies a village of Svorlag, home to clan Brokvar. Located on a picturesque bay, Svorlag is particularly lovely to visit in the summer and around the feasts of Bellatane. South of Svorlag sprawls a primeval wilderness that serves as clan Brokvar's chief hunting grounds. Visiting the southern portions of the isle should be reserved only for extremely experienced travelers, for they are completely wild, inhospitable, and deprived of all human settlements. The area is crawling with dangerous creatures of all kinds, described in more detail in the fauna and flora section. One should also show particular caution when traveling near the caves along the isle's coast. Oh, Spikarog. That's a name that we've heard quite a few times, but I d it didn't really describe exactly which location that would be here. Uh... No, Uriala Harbor. No, mmm... I'm guessing this is Hindersfjall, right? According to the quest that we are just doing, it was saying something about how, oh, go to the coasts right uh, facing towards Hindersfjall, which is this one. And then... Oh, Zvorlag. Ah, so it's this one. Yeah, northwest. Okay. Alright, Udorik. Series. Oh, so many things going on here. But for the time being, we want to get back to Harviken. Uh, there's actually not too much else for us to go to down here? This place? Have we been there before? I don't think so. But... And this was where we found Hammond. Okay. Okay, we just gotta follow the main road, pretty much. Shouldn't be too much of a trouble. If Roach could bear with me here. I know it's a really difficult road to ride on here, Roach, but hang in there. I know you're a tough horsey. This region really is so mountainous, though. It's really... Well, if there's a main road, then that's okay. Yeah, and that's what they were talking about earlier in the brochure, right? Oh, you know, don't go to that place because there's no human settlements. So those places probably wouldn't have main roads. Which means this place and everything we've seen so far is not considered dangerous. Even though we've seen sirens and harpies and whatever else in the sky taunting us. That's insane. I bet everybody in Skellige knows how to fight at least a little bit. Because otherwise, you can't survive here, right? Look at that. Are they onto me? These are level 19. There's another shrine here. Is that the same one we were at earlier? Looks like we're a little bit too busy to be wondering about the shrine for now. Come on, it's like... Unconscious on the ground. Give it the the one stab. No. Oh. There's still more. Oh, look at that blood on the ground there. 
Yeah, I'm not afraid of you guys anymore. Oh. I'm just really glad we don't have to collect 80 harpy feathers again. Or do we? <laughs> we don't know. I might be speaking a little bit too soon here. Sorry, sorry, Roach. Hang in there. Whoa! You're so Where'd you come from? Oh, Roach, you little dummy. Oh, yes, walk away. If it scares you, walk away a little bit, okay? Nothing? Oh, it's like here. Hmm. Again, there's that little icon there. I can't read any of this. Oh, are you kidding me? You wanna come over here too? I think the answer is a yes, but I did want to check out the back of this. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you're gonna come over here... Come. <laughs> it can't really get to me because of the trees. Like, I just wonder what that icon's all about. Whenever we use our Witcher senses. Hey. God, their aggro range is so large. You were all the way out at sea. Just stay there. Leave me alone. That symbol. That symbol. I feel like I've seen that symbol in God of War as well. And there's uh, there's actually a lot of elements that we're seeing on Skellige that are similar to God of War. Which is why I think it's some sort of like... Slavic, Nordic legend. Uh, that's like a... is it a Celtic symbol? I don't quite remember. Hmm. Hemdol, was it? One of the people they worship? Are all the shrines Hemdol, though? I don't know. That, I don't know. Uh, I want to get here, but maybe we'll just go back to Harvikin first, because there's no main road that cuts over there. It's gonna be difficult for us to ride on Roach to get there. Yeah, it might have been easier for us to take the boat and then swim all the way over here instead. Because there would be no obstacles, right? For now, let's just get back to Timon. Come on. He must be eagerly awaiting the news of his family. And I'm going to be the bearer of bad news, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. It's over here now. Oh, you're a blacksmith. Got some bad news. Sadly, Agda's dead. So are your brothers. Huh? What? Huh? What are you saying? A storm destroyed their boat. Agda was killed. Your brothers felt they'd let you down. Couldn't live with the shame. They chose death. Found this letter. Might help you come to terms. A letter? That's all that's left of them. No, no. Why would you hide that? Also found your fiancé's dowry. Small comfort, but still. Thanks. Few men would be so honorable. Fare ye well. Well, it's not like I was gonna wear that necklace myself. I've nothing <clears throat> left in this life. Oh. Stay with your family and- oh, shoot. I was gonna say, stay with your family and friends, but your brothers are gone. I hope you have other family here. Oh. the poor guy mourn on his own. Well, who was here again? Gundar, right. The lady wanted me to defeat a Gundar before fighting her. Oh, who knows, maybe Let's we'll get together. our butts whipped. These Skelligers, man. You Gundar. I Heard you fought Yuta. And she bested me. But there's no dishonor in losing to her. Though it is a shame. Why? T'were a fair fight, one worth remembering. 
But if I had won, I could have presented her an altogether different sort of challenge. <laughs> Seemed a little unapproachable uh. to me. <laughs> she awaits a man she can't defeat. In fact, she's declared that only a man who beats her can hope to woo her. Interesting way to look for a husband. I'm <laughs> not sure it's marriage she's after. Ah, uh, a lass like that's one in ten thousand. If anybody were to look for a husband like this, I would expect that to be a Skelliger. Not that surprising. I want to fight you. Why me exactly? Asking out of curiosity, given you're a foreigner. All right. Yuda said she'd fight me if I defeated you. Yuda said that? Means that if I win, she'll give me another chance. Well, come on. Let's do this. You step outside the ring, you lose. Got it? Oh. Additional rules in Skellige fist fighting? No, we're not fist fighting. It's a legit duel to the death. Well, out of respect for you, I'm not gonna use any parlor tricks. And we gotta be mindful of the arena. If I force you outside, does that mean that you lose too? By the way, she said that she would give me a chance if I defeated you, but she didn't say that if you defeated me, she would give you a chance. Because I'm unproven right now, right? So if you defeat me, it might not mean anything. Okay, I think we got a parry. This guy's pretty tough, actually. I feel like more people should be afraid of me just looking at my features, the white hair and the cat eyes, but yet everybody's so eager to prove themselves to me. Or not to me, but they want to be like, hey, I defeated that weird mutant guy. He wasn't hot shit at all. <laughs> Everyone wants to have the honor of saying that. But, you know, there's a reason why. Why I'm a mutant. What? Lost your nerve? I'm a little bit different from a normal human, right? Force him outside the ring. Oh! This guy's swinging timings are so strange. It was so delayed. You'll never learn. Lost my timing a little bit. Maybe because he's big and bulky, so sometimes the swings take a long time. He hurts. He hurts. I'm hitting for him far less than he's hitting me for. <laughs> Who's screaming? Oh, whoa, that's a really big mistake just now. Enough! You fight well. <sighs> Not well enough. Good luck with Yuta. Thank you. Thank you. Tell See Yuta you have performed the feat. The You're looking ill. Must nurse some aid at the tavern. Warrior, a tavern? Hey. Yeah, we should go to a tavern. Hmm. Yuda is back here, and for now, there isn't too much here, right? Unless if we want to sell some stuff to the... Ar oh, that's a grindstone. Is there no armorer right now? Because it's really late at night? Yeah, I just don't want to get over-encumbered. Oh. Why are you guys always getting mad at me, kitties? Do I smell that bad? Yeah, if we're going here, I don't think we can use roach. The roads were... I remember them being pretty steep. Like what we're seeing here. Can we just climb up directly? No. <laughs> here. Oh, there is a road. Here we go. All right. No one else is here today. So what is she to you? The sorceress, Yennefer, right? What? <laughs> uh, I... What? Why are you asking about that? Greetings, White One. I defeated Gundar. Hmm. Thought you'd be no match for him. All right. We'll see how you fare against me. Okay. Ready when you are. Then let's start. 
May Freya choose the victor. Stay long. Ooh, you do all sorts of things with running around the arena and whatnot. But every human is susceptible to parries. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> that rabbit's running away too. There are so many rabbits here in Skellige. I feel like I've seen a lifetime's worth of snow hairs. Oh. I think I can only last three hits, so I have to be a little bit careful. It's not that this is hard, but a mistake will cost my life, quite literally. And I have to worry about the ring thing here too, don't I? Stunned. Come on. Oh, what is with that swinging speed? Shut up and fight. <laughs> Enough! Oh, gods. Not surprised you have a hard time finding worthy opponents. In the end, one came along. Where'd you learn all that? <laughs> the second one sounds kind of condescending. And Kaer Morin. Kaer Morin? That's terribly far. You know! But you learned a great deal on the road as well, surely. Would you tell me about it? It'd make for a long story. All right. We need a quiet spot, some good mead, and... What do you say? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Gladly. See you at the inn? Too rowdy. Come to my home Whoa. in Harvican. I'll be waiting after dusk. See you later then. You're a witcher. Is it just me or are Skellige women really direct? <laughs> Meet Yuta at her home after dusk. It's currently 1 a.m. right now. That's after dusk, right? Oh, look at that moon today. It's a little cloudy, but it's a really big and round moon. Okay, well, I mean, it's after dusk. Let's go. <laughs> This is leading to what I think it's leading to, right? Is that going to affect my standing with any other women? I want to say no, but I... Mm, it's not like we've committed anything to anybody, right? I don't think so. And that's sort of what it's always been like in The Witcher anyway. Just Geralt sleeping around with literally everybody. Oh, question mark. Oh my god. He's already on the bed. So what is she to you? The sorceress, Yennefer, right? Hey, if you want to hang out, you gotta stop talking about that. Greetings. I started to think you changed your mind. Well, that was like 20 seconds. I'd never miss a chance to spend a pleasant evening with you. I don't know that I'll make for engaging company. In truth, I rarely talk to men. Rarely. Why? Well, I don't like to waste time chatting before fights. And after them, I've none left to talk to. And now that I've finally met someone stronger, seems Freya's played a cruel trick on me. What's Freya got to do with it? I swore to the goddess that only he who bested me in battle would lie with me Take me as his wife and give me children. Uh, the second two things might be kind of hard for me. Uh, I mean, are you okay with it? If I, it's not that serious, is that okay? Can't really help you with the second and the third, but I'm sure I can think of something to satisfy the first. Exactly what I'd hoped for. <laughs> ah, and so this quest is called Iron Maiden because it's our first time. Because she's never had anybody beat her before. Don't know how to feel about that. Why does she still have underwear on? I mean, I don't really care either way, but is that... <laughs> okay, whatever.
her house is right outside where we were fighting Gundar earlier. <laughs> And that's it. You've come a long way. I have come a long way. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, uh thank you for the good time. I will be making my leave now. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it defaulted back to the meet Yennefer quest, cause meeting Yennefer is the last thing I want to think about right now. <laughs> uh probably should put back on some clothes before we get out of here. How come how come we didn't have to do this for any other quest? <laughs> Well, I hope she enjoyed herself and we had a good time. Yeah. Okay. See, is it just me or is that unsheathed? For whatever reason. The default state seems to be unsheathed now. Huh. Alright. I don't know. Will Yennefer get mad at me oh, later for this? Come to see the now, speaking of the, um, the romance and sex in The Witcher. I'm just thinking about back to The Witcher 1. I will never forget. That one elf, the one elf that was like, "Oh, you're giving me free food." I battled in worse weather than this. No, I can't take it because I'll feel bad for it because I'm an elf and I have really high pride, and so I'm gonna have sex with you to pay for food. <laughs> and that was back in The Witcher One during the um, "Hey, let's collect all the romance cards" era. Which, just looking at this now, look at how far we've come. We've come a long way.